All right, welcome back. The next step is gonna be uh, putting in the first coat of water. And uh, the product I'm using is called Mod Podge. Uh, you can get it at uh, any craft store. Walmart also sells it. And um, it's water-based, it's a gloss. And what's nice about it is it creates a nice uh, moving water effect. Um, it's not gonna be totally still. Um, there's lots of different products out there that you can use to uh, simulate water. Uh, this is my personal preference. I've worked with some others. Um, but what I like about this, it's uh, water-based. Now the brushes you want to use on this are called mop brushes. Here's an example of these right here. All right, so I'm probably going to end up using the small one and then the large one. And what's nice about the mop brushes is once you dip your... Um, you brush into the Mod Podge, you just gotta touch it once and then keep moving. What you don't wanna do is keep working the material in the same spot, but what that does is introduce air bubbles, right? And you don't want that uh, on your water. The reason why I'm gonna be using the, um, the small brush is to get into the, the, the little areas here. It's gonna be kind of difficult using a bigger brush. So, when we get the uh, Mod Podge going, I'll show you how to do it. It's very, very easy. So it will go on white and dry clear. And all you got to do is just apply it like that. Now, if you want, you can bring it up. A little bit on the stone wall and what that's going to do is create a um, an effect like the water is splashing against the against the stone wall and also against the uh, the bumping blocks here for the ship So I think the weather right now, the temperature is about 94. So that will definitely aid in the uh, drying time of this product. Uh, I might even be able to put a second coat on. Which I'm hoping to do. And if, if you see that it's it's um, thin here and thick there, that's not a problem because that's where actually a ripple is going to be. And once you put on multiple coats, you're going to get a nice effect of moving water. So I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to continue this process, and when I'm done, well, we'll come back and take a look at the result. By the time I get to the other side of the harbor, um, the stuff is going to start setting up. So I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, welcome back. So the uh, first coat of water is on. And as you can tell, this is already setting up and drying. It's uh, creating a nice uh, gloss look. And uh, this is the area that I just uh, put down. So the temperature in the room is really helping the, uh, the drying process. Uh, you can see the, um, the edges are almost dry. It's coming up quite well. Uh, one important thing to remember when you're using the uh, mop brushes, um, they're going to reduce the amount of uh, air bubbles, but you will get air bubbles from time to time. Um, if you do see them, just lightly go over them just to pop them. Um, but sometimes they're unavoidable. But once this dries up, um, I'll put a second coat on and then the um, the ripple in the water is really going to start to appear. Uh, if you notice, the thicker areas here are going to be where actually the water, it's going to look like the water is moving. All right. So it's coming out well. 
and uh, see you at the next uh, video update. But for now, it's the New Haven Rails signing off from CSX's Jacksonville Division. All right, welcome back. So the Mod Podge is dry. It's about a uh, hour and a half to almost two hours uh, since the first application. And I will say that this is the fastest that I've seen this product dry. Um, it helps when it's hot out. So it's, uh, it's set up pretty quick. Uh, I do have air bubbles. However, um, in this application, it looks like moving water. So if you take a look closely, there's the air bubbles, um, but it doesn't look that bad at all. And you can start seeing the texture that the, uh, the Mod Podge uh, gives you. It's not flat, so it does look like moving water, so it's looking really good. So the uh, second coat is going to go on uh, right now. And then uh, the next video will show you a uh, dried version of the second coat. So stay tuned. All right, I started the second coat, um, and as you can see, it's already starting to dry. But I just want to focus in on this area here. I'm starting to lay it on a little bit more heavier because I want to increase the waves. I want to increase the, uh, the texture of the water. So in order to do that, uh, I'm going to increase the volume of material I'm putting on the, uh, the surface. So you're going to see a drastic change. Well, hopefully you'll see a drastic change in actually the um, the texture of the ripple of the water. So I'm trying to make more of a current. So this right here is a little flat, so I want to increase that. So we'll see how this second coat will uh, pan out. Now you do have a couple air bubbles here and there, but that should not be a big deal at all. All right, I'll see, I'll see you at the next uh, video. All right, welcome back. So the second coat is all set, it's been applied, and as you can tell, uh, I put on quite a bit more material. And the reason for this is I'm trying to uh, create that moving water effect even more now, I'm trying to create that ripple that you would normally see uh, in a harbor. Uh, water's not gonna be standing still, so I, you have to simulate that the, uh, the water is moving. Uh, I brought the water up a little bit more on the walls, Uh, this is probably going to take most of the night to dry. It's starting to set up, but because of the amount of material, um, it'll definitely take all night to dry. So uh, once we look at it in the morning, I'll determine if another coat is needed. But I'm confident that we can get this done in two coats, which is a good thing. Um, so hopefully tomorrow uh, we can apply the uh, polycrylic and seal this, and then the uh, boat can be installed. Um, if you notice some of the areas that are drying uh, there's going to be more of a gloss now because more material is being applied this section here and then a little bit here so you can actually start seeing the actual that moving water effect so very pleased with the results so we'll take a look at it in the morning and uh, see how it came out so this is uh, New Haven Rails signing off at CSX Jacksonville Division.